Good morning, everybody. Welcome back to the channel. My name is Jake with Colette Classic Supply Company. Today I have a Monday morning shave with actual lighting. Uh, I'm going to be using the Game Changer 0 .68, mm, 0 .68 plate. Let's see, can you see that? Oh, it's flipped. Yeah, sorry about that. The 0 .68 plate. I'm going to be using a third use feather blade. Uh, da, 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 da. Just bear with me. I'm putting this together. Good, love it. Third use feather blade is in my game changer. Beautiful. An A4 plate is back on the thing. Today, we're using the new and improved CC2 formula. This is the formula that I've been using, um, but it has additional sugar added at the end of the cook um, before the fragrance and before the super fat and it has um, tosa silk added into the lye water um, i have not used it on my face yet i did do a test lather while i was cleaning out the pot i used to cook it in though um, it seems to work great and this is a citrus a citrus basil barbershop scent awesome mix it's a it's more of a classic barbershop it's not quite like um it is not like a old spice or a clubman um it's more like the razor rock um american barbershop if you know what that smells like it's like a club it's it's just to me barbershop almost that like in a good way, guys, that if you like open up a magazine and sniff inside of it, I know that sounds bad, but to me, that's like what barbershop smells like. Um, with some citrus basil in there. It's awesome. Awesome. It's pretty unique as far as the barbershop scents go. Um, so let's see how it loads onto a brush. We're going to use the Razor Rock Plus Soft synthetic brush today to load it up. And we're going to do a face lather. Very, very excited. It seemed to lather amazingly in the pot when I was trying to clean the pot. Which, side note, if you make soap and you make shaving soap, um, the most fun part of every batch is cleaning the pot out because you get to test the lather and test the scent when water is added, when it's lathered up. You get to test everything. It's awesome. Alright, so not too, too much. Brush is loaded. Beautiful. Take it to the face. Yeah, my neck is still very irritated. Um, but I have to shave, so um, we'll see if we can do something about that today with using my what I think is going to be my best soap and by using one of my most mild razors dip the tips display the brush hmm good it's popping nicely mm-hmm Smells amazing. Mm, nice. The question is how thick do I get it, you know? Everyone on YouTube likes their lathers thicker than me. I'll add a little bit of water. Paint it in. Paint the water in. So that is three additions of water. Dip the tips three times. Oh yeah, that's hydrated. The question is, am I talented enough to get a super fluffy lather for you guys? Wow, 
And the answer is no. But plenty, plenty, plenty of lather left on the brush. You can see how shiny it is. Super hydrated. Feels great on the face. Love that. Super smooth. And you know what else is super smooth? Is the Razor Rock Game Changer 68. Has to be, it's one of the smoothest razors I've ever used. So, okay. Oh yeah. Now this is a razor that if I let my hair go to two days, then it struggles. But with this amount of growth, you know, which is about 40 hours, not, not, no, it's about 36 hours. It still works. It's just a very, very mild razor. So it does start to struggle if there's too much hair to take down. Okay. Must die. Wow, this soap is so, I mean the razor smooth too, but I've used this razor so much. I've used this razor with this blade combination a ton in the past. I know it's smooth, but this, this soap, I mean, you would have to typically rehydrate that to do anything with that. That's amazing. Super slick. Super slick. chin. My chin is so annoying. Okay, we'll deal with that. Good. Okay. that. Hopefully that is as easy as we can go. I mean, that was as easy as we can go, but gotta look here. Mm -hmm. Beautiful. Beautiful. Wow, that soap is so smooth, that razor is so smooth, that's a perfect combo right there, man. Perfect combo. Uh, okay, now we're going to do the thing that I tried this weekend which didn't seem to give me any benefit, which was skipping across the grain or just going right to against the grain. Um, today, instead of that, I'm going to just go across the grain um, and not go against the grain, just in the name of saving my neck. Um, hopefully we can get it close, but I don't have high expectations. So you shouldn't either. Mm, that's such a good scent. And that's plenty. It's plenty. 
Once again, if you've been here before, you know I don't care how thick the lather is. I'll, I will say, though, the added sugar seems to have made a fairly large difference with lathering up. So we're going to go across the grain on the face. Man, this is a great setup right now. This soap, this razor, this blade, it's all coming together. You ever just, you just have one of those days where everything, everything's firing on all cylinders? Well, I imagine most people actually just have a few tubs of soap at most, and one or two razors, and one pack of blades. So they, I mean, they don't do what, what I do. They just use what works for them. They don't switch it up constantly. Wow. I don't know why I was going down on my jawline there. It's not going to get anything done. I mean, it's not the end of the world because my jawline is not where my irritation is ever. But still, not getting anything done. Gentle. Don't buff over the same areas too much. This part is fine. I can buff it as much as I want. Good. Okay, how are we feeling? How are we feeling? Now, ironically, I can see better with the camera into the screen than I can in the mirror. Okay, see this problem spot? I can always get more right there, but right here aside, Same thing here. The chin needs work. The neck I'm just gonna leave alone regardless. So here's what we're gonna do. I'm gonna leave the neck alone regardless. Do the third pass on the face and jaw. You know? Keep it simple. I'm gonna take the excess soap. Boom. Paint. Boom. Paint. See, I just suck. Even with all the lather in the world, I can't make it. I'm, maybe I'm just a brute. I don't know, whatever. My lather is protective enough for me, guys. You want it done differently? Start your own channel and lather your own face. I'm sure you do it differently on your own face every day. That's how I do it. Whatever. Works fine for me. Alright. Jawline. This is against the grain. Good. Same thing on the other side. Good. Love it. Dude, this is such a good combo. This this game changer, 0.68, is amazing. It's it's kind of shocking because Every time I use the 0.84 after using the 0.68, I think to myself, wow, why would I ever use the 0.68? Because the 0.84 is so smooth and so much more efficient. 
And then every time I come back to the 0.68, I'm like, oh, wow. Why would I bother using the 0.84? Because the 0.68 is so smooth, but still efficient enough. And I'm just left wondering, like, does Razor Rock make a bad plate for this razor? It's like every plate has its purpose, you know? I think the only one you couldn't really justify is the point. What is it, 0.76? Because why would you get that? Even if you needed more, um, more razor than the 0.68 safety bar, we would just go 0.68 open comb. Or just use the 0.84, because the 0.84 is not scary to use by any means. The 0.84 is what I would, is just normal. This razor is just super, I'm gonna take some of this. This 0.68 is just really smooth. Problem area real quick. Good. Okay, I'm just gonna call it a day. Don't really know what format this video is. Pardon the sink noise. Cold water. Nice. Nice. Okay, let's take the almond block. I don't usually almond block, but I'm trying to do better about using it. I don't think it makes a difference for my skin. But it does give me feedback, so let me see. Oh, that's the rough side. Love it. Smooth. A little bit of stinging right here where it's red on my cheek, but it doesn't typically sting, but also it doesn't typically stay red. It should calm down from being red by the time I finish my coffee after this. <laughs> my neck, though irritated, I don't think I irritated it additionally. The Allen block is not getting any sort of feedback whatsoever on it. All in all, pretty smooth, pretty smooth and un, undisturbing shave. I don't think I saved my skin anything, but I also did not do it any favors. But that's the problem. It's like, what am I supposed to do? If I grow the beard, irritates the skin. Until I have like two weeks worth of growth, and then it stops irritating my skin. But then, it starts irritating my skin even more because um, my hair is so coarse and so thick and so curly that when I have a full beard, I can barely even get to the skin through the hair. So, beard oils, beard moms, beard waxes don't really do anything. And my skin starts getting dry and red underneath the beard. And it's a whole different problem. Then you shave it off and you got a bunch of red underneath. And then you wait for that to heal, and then you get stubble again, and that makes you red again. And you shave it off, and that makes you red again. It's like, pfft. the only way for me to not get irritation is to get a perfect shave. Is to shave the beard off with a perfect shave. And that's difficult to do. I, sometimes I nail it. Most of the time I do not. Yeah. Just something I live with at this point. I don't know, because my neck skin, it's a cowlick here, so I have to go around it. And here, it grows to like my shoulder, except for here where it grows out, but here it swoops back. So I have to do this, and then this, and this. But even then, when I follow the grain perfectly, it still breaks out. I've tried ignoring the grain. 
one straight top to bottom. Same thing. Tried ignoring that and going bottom to top. The only thing I haven't tried is just going against the grain. Out the gate against the grain. But something tells me that wouldn't do what I'm looking for. So, all right, a little get back to the warm water. Rinse off this all. I don't typically go crazy with scrubbing to rinse off the alum, primarily because, i um, cleaning the razor now, primarily because I have oily skin, and when there's alum on your fingers and on your skin, it's very grippy, and I find that I irritate my skin by trying to rub the alum off. It's just very abrasive. So it's like a, there's no benefit to rubbing the alum off. So what I do instead is I just sort of wet it and then I will, as gently as possible, with a washcloth, just dab it off as much as I can. And then pray that whatever aftershave product I use ends up taking it off. So, I don't know. Throughout the day, I don't ever have, like, built up. You know, I don't know what it is, but I've seen, I've seen what I, the very first time I used all of them, and I didn't rinse it off, and I didn't use anything else. Um, I had, like, white dust, almost on my skin throughout the day. Um, but ever since then, when I said, okay, and then started using something else after the alum, I have not had that issue, so. I don't find that alum hurts my skin. I don't find that it benefits it in any major way. Um, but it does give you feedback outside of what you can see, so. I finished that off today with some there's an old spice. You guys know I love this stuff. Love there's. Oh. Sorry. My dang cats, they get long hairs everywhere. It's that's why I don't even bother folding the stupid washcloths anymore cuz they just knock them all over the place. What I need to get is like a locked drawer because they open regular drawers. There's an Old Spice, mixed in a bottle. I forget if it's 60% Thayer's or 60% Old Spice, but it's 60% one of them. Mm. Feels good, you still get the kick from the alcohol. You still get the Old Spice scent, but you get Thayer's. And you don't have to put three separate things on, you know? It's great. So, I usually just let that air dry, dry my stuff off, and then I'll put on some sort of balm. I'll probably do Nivea today, or Gillette, or this. I've been jamming with this lately. I know it's all artificial and fake, and I can't pronounce one single thing that's in the ingredient list, uh, but it seems to work decent, so. And it's super, super cheap. Even cheaper than Nivea, which I thought was impossible. Who knew, so. Hey, thanks for watching. I don't know what this video was about. I think we successfully made it through the shave without irritating this anymore. So let's see how this heals up over the next couple of days. Maybe I'll skip Wednesday this week and shave on Thursday instead. Maybe we'll get crazy and shave on Friday instead, but I really think that if I wait until Friday to shave again, um, I'm gonna be even more irritated than this. So, thanks for watching. Hey, if you liked the video, then like it, comment, and subscribe. Helps the channel out, and I would really appreciate it. So I'll see you next time. Thanks for watching.